Stan Jibalisco here uh, to talk a little bit about the concept of DBM. DBM. Lowercase d, uppercase b, lowercase m. What does that mean? You may have heard that term an awful lot. Such and such a, uh, an amplifier has an output of so many DBM. Well, it means decibels relative to one milliwatt. So I'd like to go through and define what exactly is meant by a decibel in very general terms. One milliwatt, you may remember, one milliwatt equals 0 0.001 watts, or a thousandth of a watt. That's an important concept when expressing relative power in decibels. A decibel is a logarithmic unit of intensity. And when you're talking about decibels with respect to voltage, current, or power, the formulas are a little different for voltage and current than they are for power, but we're concerned with power because power is expressed in watts, milliwatts, microwatts, kilowatts, megawatts, and so on and so on. So when we're talking about a decibel with respect to power, we need to refer to two different power levels for the, for the term decibel to have any meaning because the decibel is a logarithmic expression of the ratio between two power levels. <clears throat> Suppose that you have, oh let's just say an amplifier and you have a certain power level at the input of that amplifier in watts. Let's call it P sub in. And you have a certain power coming out of that amplifier, hopefully a lot more than the power going in. So the P out to P in ratio hopefully is a fairly large number, like, oh, a hundred, a thousand, maybe even more than a thousand. Or maybe it's only 10 or 12. But it should, ideally, P out over P in should be a <laughs> greater than 1. Now, if you take the logarithm, the base 10 logarithm of this quantity, P out over P in, suppose that you take the base 10 logarithm of P out over P in. Well, you're going to get a, an interesting number. So if P out is, say, 10 times P sub in, then the logarithm is going to be the logarithm of 10 equals 1. If P out and P in are the same, then you get a ratio of 1. The logarithm of 1 is 0. If P out is less than P in, say P out is only one-tenth of P in, then the logarithm is uh, going to turn out to be a negative number. It's going to turn out to be negative 1. You uh, can use a calculator to figure out logarithms in the base of 10. But now suppose you multiply that quantity by 10. That is decibels uh, for power. So let's just use a concrete example. Let's just suppose that P sub out is 3 watts and P sub in is 1 watt. So I'll just erase these numbers here. What? That's 3 then. The logarithm of 3. Well, what is that? We can bring up our calculator and find out. 
You take three, oops, <laughs> not 33, Stanley. Let's start over with that. You take the logarithm of three. Well, let's see, where is that? Here it is, log, L-O-G. That usually means the base 10 log. L-N means the base to the E log. That, that key is, is also on this calculator, but we hit log. We get 0.477 and then a bunch of digits. So the logarithm to the base 10 of 3 is actually about 0.477. Let me check that one more time. It's always a good idea to go through these things twice. 0.477. Then you multiply that by 10, and you get 4.77. Well, what does that mean? It means that your amplifier with a 3 to 1 power ratio, say, has a gain of 4.77 decibels with respect to power. Now, that still doesn't tell you anything about dBm. Except, suppose that this one right here represents a milliwatt. And then the output is 3 milliwatts. Then, your output power is 4.77 dBm. dB with respect to 1 milliwatt. So in order to define dBm, we need to make that we need to make that ratio such that we have a thousandth of a watt down here and then the power we just might say is the power here in watts then you take the logarithm of that When you don't write a subscript, you generally mean the base 10 logarithm. Then you take 10 times that. That will give you dBm. Decibels with respect to 1 milliwatt is 10 times the logarithm of whatever power you have divided by 1 milliwatt. So, for example, you can do these calculations for yourself. One watt turns out to be 30 dBm. Ten watts turns out to be 40 dBm. One microwatt turns out to be... Well, let's see. We get uh, minus 30 dBm. Because a millionth divided by a thousandth is a thousandth. The logarithm of that is minus 3 times 10 is minus 30. So you can, you can get an idea. One milliwatt is 0 dBm. When you have 0 dB, that refers to a ratio of 1 to 1. So 1 milliwatt equals 0 dBm. So that's what is meant by dBm. It's just a kind of a fancy way, kind of an alternative way, a logarithmic way to express power. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time. So long.